Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about simplifying radicals by rationalizing with binomial denominators. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Once again class, if you talk about rationalizing, you're referring to removing the radical on the denominator. You need to eliminate the radical symbol or the radical on the denominator. Because you're not allowed, class, that your final answer contains radical on the denominator. Alright, so this is already part 2 of our video, class. The part 1 of our video, we actually solved this one. Basic example, class, in which our denominator consists of only one term. So we have 3 over square root of 5 and this one. So feel free to see the link, class, on the description down below with regards to the part 1. Now, this time class, this will be quite complicated since our denominator consists of two terms. So, that's why we call it binomial denominators. And we need to eliminate the radical symbol or the radicals on the denominator. So, the thing that we will do is we need to multiply this one by its conjugate. Now, let's talk about the conjugate class. Example, 5 plus square root of 7. So, the conjugate for this one, that would be 5 minus square root of 7. So, that's the conjugate class of this given binomial. So, we need to multiply this one by its conjugate so that we can remove the radical. So, we will be explaining that one or we'll be answering that one step by step later on how to remove this radical. Once again, class, to get the conjugate, simply copy the first term and the second term. Okay, copy 5 and then copy square root of 7 and just change the sign class. If this is positive, you change that into negative. So, that's the conjugate of this one class. Example, class number 2, square root of 3 minus square root of 5. So, the conjugate, there would be square root of 3 plus square root of 5. Now, when you multiply this one by its conjugate, you will be removing the radical. So, we will be answering that one class later on. Alright, let's try to focus first on number 1. We will be answering this one class step by step for you to really understand how to remove the radicals on the denominator. Alright, so let's focus first on number 1. Alright, so once again, we will be multiplying the denominator by its conjugate. That would be 5 minus square root of 7. Once again, for the conjugate class, simply copy the first term and the second term and just change the sign in between of the first term and second term. So if this is positive, you change that one into negative. Now, once you multiply on the denominator by its conjugate, you also do that on the numerator. So 5 minus square root of 7. Alright, so this will be, you multiply this one, this will be 3 times this binomial, that will be 5 minus square root of 7. And on the denominator class, this one, we will be simplifying this one using FOIL method. So this will be 5 plus square root of 7 multiplied by 5 minus square root of 7. So we will be doing the FOIL method class. For us to really answer this one step by step. Do you still remember class? The FOIL method? Okay. FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. So first, multiply this one. 5 times 5. So 5 times 5, that is 25. So we're done with first. Next, outer. So outer, multiply this one. 5. Okay. 5 times square root of 7. Once again, class, you cannot directly multiply 5 and 7 because 5 doesn't contain radicals. So, therefore, we need to multiply 5 and the number outside of square root of 7. Understood, class, that there's 1 here. So, once again, we cannot multiply 5 directly by square root of 7. You cannot answer this one, class, by square root of 35. Nope, that's not because 5 doesn't contain radicals. If this is square root of 5, you can multiply it directly by square root of 7. But since our 5 doesn't contain radicals, so therefore... We just simply multiply 5 and the number outside by square root of 7. Understood that there's 1 here. So this will be negative 1. So 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5. Then simply copy square root of 7. Alright, we're done with our outer. Next, inner. This one, 5 times square root of 7. So once again, understood that there's 1 here. 5 times 1. Positive 5 times positive 1, that's positive 5. Positive 5 times positive 1, that's positive 5. Then copy square root of 7. Alright, and then last. So we have square root of 7 times square root of 7. 
So square root of 7 times square root of 7. So we have 1. Understood that there's 1 outside the square root of 7. So positive 1 times negative 1. That's negative 1. You can actually remove negative 1 plus or 1. This one, you can actually remove 1. That Not the negative sign. You can actually remove 1. And then, because understood that there's 1 here, square root of 7 times square root of 7, that's square root of 49. So you can put 1. That's okay. But let's just remove 1. That's understood that there's 1 here. You can actually multiply square root of 7 directly because they contain radical symbol. So square root of 7 times square root of 7, that's square root of 49. And then we simplify, so this will be 25, and then we can cancel this out, same, okay, check this one plus, same 5, then same 7, and we have positive, negative, this is 0, so we can actually cancel this out. So cancel this out, and then copy minus a square root of 49. So this will be, alright, so copy 25. Then minus, this will be the square root of 49 plus. What's the square root of 49? That's correct. The square root of 49, that is 7. So 25 minus 7. So this will be 25 minus 7. So can we subtract 25 by 7? Yep. 25 minus 7, that is 18. So therefore, our denominator becomes 18. So I hope you get this one class using the FOIL method. So our denominator becomes 18. Alright, now is this our final answer? Nope, this is not our final answer because you need to check class 3 and 18 if you can simplify. Can we divide 3 by 18? Nope, we cannot divide 3 by 18 because you, you will get a decimal answer and we're not allowed to have a decimal answer. Next question, can we reduce 3 and 18? Yep, we can actually reduce 3 and 18. The GCF of 3 and 18, that is 3. We can divide 3 by 3. We can also divide 18 by 3. So 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 18 divided by 3, that is 6. So we can reduce this 1 by 1. This is 6. So our final answer will be... So our final answer will be... So this is 1 times 5 minus square root of 7 over 6. Or we can just remove 1 here. On the top, so we can remove 1 and then we can just simply remove the parenthesis because 1 times this equation, the answer is this equation. So this will be our final answer class. 5 minus square root of 7 over 6 for number 1. Alright, that's it class for number 1. That is 5 minus square root of 7 over 6. So let's try number 2. We will have more examples class for you to really understand this one. So let's try number 2. Alright, that's the answer for number 1. So once again, let's multiply this one by its conjugate for number 2. So multiply this one by... So the denominator, that would be square root of 3. If this is negative, you change that into positive and copy square root of 5. So the conjugate for this one, this is the conjugate. Square root of 3, copy the first term and second term. Just change the sign in between of this first term and second term. This is negative. You change that into positive. Once you multiply this one on the denominator, you also do that on the numerator. Alright. Easy, right? The next step, you multiply. So this will be 5 times a square root of 3 plus a square root of 5. So once again, class, a while ago, we do the binomial for the denominator because we, we are multiplying two terms. On the numerator class, we cannot do the binomial. We can just simply do the distribution class because this 5 is only one term. So we can just simply distribute this one later on. But for the denominator, we do the FOIL method because these are binomials. Alright, so we do the FOIL method. Multiply this one. This is square root of 3 minus square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 5. And we do the FOIL method class. Alright, first outer inner class. So first, is square root of 3 times square root of 3. So square root of 3 times square root of 3. That would be square root of 9. So square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's square root of 9. Outer is square root of 3 times square root of 5. That would be positive square root of 15. So square root of 3 times square root of 5, that's positive square root of 15. So next, inner, so we're done with first, outer inner, this will be 
negative square root of 5 times negative square root of 3. That would be negative times positive. That would be negative square root of 15. Okay, negative square root of 5 times negative negative square root of 5 times positive square root of 3 that would be negative square root of 15 negative times positive that's negative square root of 5 times square root of 3 that's square root of 15 and then last negative square root of 5 times positive square root of 5 so negative times positive unlike science class negative times positive is negative square root of 5 times square root of 5 that's square root of 25 alright almost done then we simplify so, square root of 9, what's the square root of 9 class? That's correct. The square root of 9, that is 3. Because 3 times 3, that is 9. So, square root of 9, that is 3. And for this one, we have positive 15, negative 15, same. Okay, same radicands, 15 and 15. But unlike signs, positive and negative, we can actually cancel this out because this is 0. Alright, this is 0. And then this one, copy minus sign. Then the square root of 25, that is 5. So the square root of 25, that is 5. Copy minus sign, class. Don't forget the minus sign. So 3 minus 5 is equals to negative 2. So 3 minus 5, that's equals to negative 2. Alright, positive, the negative, unlike signs. Subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So copy negative sign. 5 minus 3, that is 2. 5 is greater than 3, so we copy the negative sign. 3 minus 5, that's negative 2. So this will be our denominator, negative 2. Alright, so that's it. Let's check if we can divide this 5 and 2. Can we divide 5 by 2? Can we divide this one? 5 divided by negative 2. Nope, we cannot divide. Can we reduce 5 and negative 2? Nope, we cannot reduce. Okay, we cannot reduce 5 and 2. So therefore, this will be our final answer. So you can actually distribute this one. So you can have this answer. It's either of these two tests. This is actually acceptable. So if the teacher will ask you to distribute this one, so this will be your answer. 5 times square root of 3. That would be 5 square root of 3. Once again, class, do not multiply directly 5 and 3 inside because 5 doesn't contain radical. So 5 doesn't contain radical symbol. So just simply multiply 5 and then the number 1 outside. So 5 times 1, that is 5. Copy square root of 3. Okay, if this is square root of 5, of course, you can directly multiply 5 times 3. That's square root of 15. If this is square root of 5, but since 5 doesn't contain radical, 5 is not a radical. So therefore, just simply multiply 5 and then 1. So 5, copy square root of 3. And this one, 5 times square root of 5, that would be positive 5 square root of 5 over negative 2. So you can have this answer or this one. This is actually the same class. Okay, this is actually the same. So for in my in my end, let's have this answer class. This is actually okay class. 5 quantity square root of 3 plus square root of 5 over negative 2. Alright, so you can have this answer class, this one or this one. These are actually acceptable. Alright, so this will be our final answer for number 2. Let's try number 3. So you multiply this one by its conjugate. So multiply this one by square root of x. Copy first term and second term. Then change the sign. If this is positive, this becomes negative. So same with denominator, square root of x minus square root of y. Alright, this will be... So multiply this one. This will be 9 times square root of x alright minus square root of y alright on the denominator let's multiply this one doing the foil method class so let me erase number one class and number two you pause the video because I'll be erasing number one and number two alright so I hope you understand this one class if you have some questions with regards to this one feel free to leave a comment class in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. You can always message me, class, in our Facebook channel. Same name with our YouTube channel. Alright, so this will be square root of x plus square root of y multiplied by square root of x minus square root of y. Alright, doing the FOIL method. So FOIL 
first outer inner last so first square root of x times square root of x so this will be square root of x times square root of x that would be square root of x squared okay once again plus square root of x times square root of x if you're multiplying same index understood that there's two here so simply copy the square root so simply copy the index then x times x, so x times x, same base, copy x. Then you add the exponent, 1 plus 1, so 1 plus 1, that would be x squared. That's why we have square root of x squared plus. So I hope you get this one class in multiplying radicals, same index, copy the index. Then if they have the same base, copy the base, then you add the exponent. Understood that there's one here. So 1 plus 1, that is 2. So we have x squared. So the, we actually have this one class in the loss of radical. So feel free to see the link class also in simplifying radicals class. We actually explain this one step by step. I will just put the link class in the description down below. Alright, and then we're done with first outer. So outer. Alright, so we have a square root of x times negative square root of y so positive times negative that's negative square root of x times square root of y that would be square root of xy so simply multiply the radicals that's x times y that is xy copy the square root so square root of xy all right and then inner so positive square root of y times positive square root of x that would be positive square root of xy so once again class, square root of y times square root of x, copy the square root because they have the same index which is 2. So copy the square root, then x times y, that is xy. Or y times x, that would be xy. So it should be xy class because in algebra, they arrange that one alphabetically. x comes first before y. So xy. Alright, and then for last, square root of y. Okay, square root of y, positive square root of y times negative square root of y. So, positive times negative is negative. Square root of y times square root of y, that would be square root of y squared. Alright, and then we can cancel this out. Same, radicands, then negative, positive. This is zero, we can cancel this out. And the square root of x squared, that is x. Okay, square root of x squared plus, that is x. We can actually cancel if the index and the exponents are the same, so you can cancel that out. So that would be x in the loss of radical class. Feel free to see the link class on the description down below with regards to the loss of radicals. We can simplify this one by x. Cancel the exponent and the index. And then copy minus sign. Once again, index is 2. Same with the exponent. You can cancel this out. Square root of y squared. That is y. Alright, and this will be x minus y on the bottom part. And that's it, class. We cannot divide 9 by this equation. We cannot simplify 9 by this equation. So, this will be our final answer for number 3. So, that's it, class. That's how you simplify radicals by rationalizing with binomial denominators. Alright, so you try this one, class, and you put your answer on the comment section down below. Let me check, class, if you really understand our topic for today. Alright, you try this one and you put your answer in the comment section down below, class. 2x plus 2x over, so you try this one, class, you have 2x over 5 plus square root of 2. Alright, so once again, class, in radicals, you are allowed to have radicals on the numerator, but you're not allowed to have radicals on the denominator. That's why we need to rationalize. So once again, this is Teacher MJ, and I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students, especially to those students who are really struggling in solving math problems. Once again, this is Teacher MJ class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.